Okay, so we're now going to solve sine 2x equals 0 0.8 between 0 and 2 pi radians. Okay, so because we've got sine of 2x, this is, is a transformation where it's been stretched by factor a half parallel to the x-axis. So now the period of the function isn't 2 pi, it's pi. So if we inverse sine both sides, so inverse sine of 0 0.8 is 0 0.927 to 3 sig fig, OK? All right, so let's sketch sine. Now we're sketching sine as if it's just sine x between 0 and 2 pi. There's 0 0.8, so we're getting two solutions. One is the 0 0.927. And 1 can be found by subtracting 0.927 away from pi. Which is 2.21 to 3 sig fig. So these are the two solutions to sine x is 0 0.8 between 0 and 2 pi. So now if we apply the transformation, we want to halve both of those answers. So this is 1.11 to 3 sig fig. And inverse sine of 0 0.8 divided by 2 is 0 0.464 to 3 sig fig. OK? Now, these are two solutions to the problem. But because we have halved the curve, we can effectively get two of those sine curves in between 0 and 2 pi now. So we're actually expecting four solutions. So I can add the period of the function to both of these to get two more solutions. So pi plus the 0.464 gets me 3.61 to 3 sig fig. And then... Um, mm -hmm. Adding pi to that, is 4.25 to 3 sig fig. So I have four solutions to the original problem. I've got the 0 0.464. I've got the 2, oh, sorry, not 2.21. The uh, 1.11. I've got the 3.61 and the 4.25. And they are the four solutions to sine 2x equals 0 0.8 between 0 and 2 pi.